So you had a, a great clip here from uh, Pierce Morgan's Uncentered show talking about this whole thing where you had Douglas Murray saying it's time to move on from what happened hundreds of years ago. You can't say that, Douglas. You can't say that at all. But here he is. Well, it's, it's a kind of grievance competition. Your guest earlier just tried to engage in it. I don't know what hurt she believes she's had from slavery. Uh, all of this was addressed two centuries ago. Everything has consequences. All history has consequences and ramifications. But, you know, if we were to play this fairly, we would at least look at all of the countries around the world that engaged in the slave trade who are simply not interested in any form of reparations, the, the, the Ottoman Empire, all the Arab countries, countries who not just traded far more slaves than across the Atlantic, but castrated all the men so that there wouldn't be any more African slaves in, uh, after them. They worked them to the bone. I see no interest across Africa in paying reparations for selling their brother and sister Africans into slavery or for working them to the bone to the present day. There is slavery across Africa today. In fact, there are more slaves in the world today than there were at the height of the transatlantic slave trade. So some of us are simply a bit bored of hearing people ripping at closed wounds and then crying about their hurt or their presumed hurt because everybody could do this a million Europeans were stolen by North Africans over the course of decades of the North African Barbary pirate slave trade w where would you end if you did that the answer is you couldn't end because Correct. nobody is alive who has actually suffered the hurt and nobody is alive who did the wrong and I'd make one other point if I may it's always the countries that people want to come to who are put through this struggle session. Britain, like America and France, are among the, are the most desired destinations for migrants worldwide and have been for centuries. Why is that? It's not because we're racist. It's because we're better. It's because we're good. It's because when we see racism, we actually call it out and recognize it as a sin. Try finding that across Africa. Try finding that across the Middle East or in China. Nobody would hear. So what we have is a situation where the more virtuous countries are presented as the worst countries. It's sick and most of us are tired of it. What a phenomenal clip, man. That guy destroyed that whole panel or what I presume to be some people that are pushing for reparations. Uh, <laughs> there's nothing I need to add to that. It was just perfectly summed up. Let me know what you think about that one in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed that clip from the Bald Brad Show. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all our future content.